the marlin eye splice, the contractor's eye splice, the fisherman's eye splice, the lubber's eye, eye splice, and the fast eye splice. Yeah, it comes with a few different names, this. This is, to be honest, it's also known as the lazy man's splice, eye splice, simply for the fact is that if you don't know how to splice or you don't know what or don't want to splice, then this particular method is another way of tying an eye splice into a rope. Um, and the other thing that as well is a lot of people um, viewing this will actually say that this particular splice is fairly weak. However, as far as I can see from a video I've watched, this is also a strong splice. Whether or not it's as strong as the eye splice is not definitive, having watched the video, but you will be able to, I will put a link in the description below, and I'll probably repeat myself again later on, that you can view the video of this splice being tested um, on a Facebook page. And so, yeah, so without further ado, Let's get on and I'll show you how to tie, and this is very simple to be honest, it's as you can see in the picture here, you don't need much instruction on this particular one, but anyway, I will just go and undo this and then let's show you how to tie this particular eye splice. In fact, not eye splice, marlin eye splice. All right, so see you on the other side. Let's get knotting. Right, so to tie the marlin splice, the, sorry, the marlin eye splice, what we need to do first of all is establish what size eye that we're going to have in our rope here. I mean I'm, I'm very cost conscious and so I'm only going to use a small bit of rope to create my eye. Now the first thing that we need to do to create this eye, it's very quick, very simple um, and the first thing that we need to do is basically we've got our three strands on our cord here and what I'm going to do is just open up one of the strands at this point here so I'm going to make just a small eye here and all I'm going to do now is open up one of the strands here so at this where my finger is I'm just going to go under there put my spike through my marlin spike through like so just open it up a bit and then get hold of my cordage and pass the working end underneath that point there and just pull it through till you get the size that you want and there we go I'm just having a small eye on the end of my rope like so then once I've done that all I'm doing now is I'm going to work my way down the rope a little bit more so I'm going to leave a few strands and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lift, so I'm going to choose that one there, I'm going to lift that one there and just form another loop in the lay of my rope like so. And then get hold of my working end there and pass that through that section like so. And then just keep it nice and tight, pull it tight up and then just pull up tight again. And then finally, I'm just going for a minimum of three tucks. If you want more tucks for safety, do more tucks. And especially if, if this is a, a um, natural fiber rope. So in a natural fiber rope, usually when you're splicing, they say a minimum of three tucks um, and a minimum of five when it's a slippery rope. I mean, you know your ropes, you know what weight it's gonna pull you make a good decision on what you're going to, how many tucks you're going to use. But in this particular case, just for this exercise, I'm going to do three tucks. So I've got about that distance there. And so I've got to do the same distance about there. So I'm going to lift this one up here to form another loop, get my fingers in under there, form another loop like so. And there we have it. Pass that red end through there, the working end through there, and there we have it, we now have one in number, marlin splice eye splice. A, ma a, a marlin eye splice, not an, a marlin eye splice, that's what I'm trying to say. And now, when I pull on this, it is really, really strong. And if you actually wonder how strong this is, what I'll do is, in the description below, I'll put a link to a video where you can see this particular splice 
tested against a standard um, eye splice and you'll be able to see the difference there of how they stand up and to be honest I th if you like your eye splices I think you might be a little bit surprised as to actually how strong this particular splice is. So there we have it this is the Marlin splice and once again if you enjoyed it if you hated it but please do leave me a comment down below and let's have a chat online about this. Okay so thanks very much for watching and see you again next time. Bye bye.